countries that are poor or third world countries do not have the ability to reach levels of awareness. That help is not given to them um, in everyday life. And the only way is through external means like uh, finding knowledge through um, YouTube or internet or whatever. That is is the extent of it because they are so steeped in fear and superstition and um, kind of um, f a survival mode that they aren't able in any way to come up to levels of awareness that we are at in lucky enough to be at in the first world. So um, the only way they can do that is if they have access to something supernatural or their higher selves delivering information to them. Otherwise, they're dead in the water if they are living just for survival's sake. Um, places like um, that are extremely out of balance, um, which is a lot like Africa or South America, and those places are really um, and, and the and the Arab countries all completely backwards and in the survival mode. Um, so introducing that population into the first world will it is done deliberately because the elitists or the system. It helps them perpetuate the old system. Think about it. If refugees who come from Yemen or, you know, Pakistan, who are first generation and who are introduced to this society, are going to do whatever they're told, take whatever they can, get into the systems. Maybe they'll become a teaching assistant or they'll become, they'll work um, somewhere like in a restaurant or whatever, and then they'll have children and think they have a better life. When in reality... Once they're in the system, their levels of awareness are in survival and low, low awareness. Once they're there, they perpetuate that low awareness for many years. And they're just going to cling on and be grateful for everything that they have because obviously <laughs> they've been living in the dirt somewhere in Bangladesh and they um, don't have any idea or concept about um, awareness or what the hell it means. All they think about is surviving, shoving their children into the system, getting help at the um, health services or, um, you know, um, offices where um, they are being supported. But this is like an elaborate scheme to make sure that these old systems perpetuate because once they're in the system, it will take many generations before they even become aware, if ever. But it will take too long before they can be able to um, reach the levels where already first world people are already starting to think and um, interpret and, and analyze things. So this is what I'm talking about. I, I can't imagine that somebody who comes from Yemen, who's been living in a shack, will be able to become aware in a year living in the UK or in France or anything like that. So it's become impossible. And the only way to help people is maybe to stop exploiting their countries for one thing, and then allow them to remain in those countries. Um, but really, expecting people to be come to the thir first world and be transformed will not happen for a very long time. We have people here who have been generations after generation who are still perpetuating the old system. And that was the plan from the elitists for a very long time to let in this mass immigration, which is actually just energy like anything else, to hold down this old matrix that we are all trying to move away from. So you can see that everywhere. It's evident everywhere. Um, and so people who are kind of trying to move towards more self-value jobs, jobs where we um, believe in the value of the individual. Well, if you come from Yemen or Afghanistan or Bangladesh, you aren't going to have that regard for people because you just weren't brought up that way and you aren't going to be learning that way. What you will know is to go to the system to help you send your children into the system, be provided through the healthcare through the system. Um, and any old kinds of thinking will, um, uh, will just get perpetuated. They're not interested in, um, you know, things like um, alternative medicines or anything like that. Um, even though they come from traditional countries, their 
mentality is just to get to the Western way of living because they see that on television and that is what's d dictating. It's the illusion that they're seeing and that is what um, is going to be very shocking when a lot of um, people, uh, refugees, are not going to be received as well in European countries as they were before. Um, I think that um, a lot happened from the past and refugees that were from the past have obviously were different and less. So this is having a massive impact on the population right now. We are looking at um, a, an influx of energy coming in from all of these places where they're coming from. Why? It's the elitist plan to make sure that um, everything comes um, goes back to the old way. These people, once they infiltrate the system, um, will bring us back into the old matrix. And the more of them there are, the merrier we get because we just continue. Not to say that people, for example, I'm living in London, um, have uh, are any uh, smarter. They all, a lot of them are um, really stuck in old ways. I work in many places where I can see that people have absolutely no idea what's going on, um, but they uh, and and also are quite um, not critical of the system. They just continue with it. So bringing an influx of new people, new immigration into places will just delay and keep delaying for hundreds and hundreds of years more the expansion. And But obviously, a lot of us are still doing really well. You don't need that many people to create planetary awareness. Um, we're already getting up there in numbers anyway.